But what we're doing now, uh, what Brian's doing now actually, is uh, giving us an example of taking a, a varnished finish to snow. You can see on the right side of the frame, the port side of the, the foredeck, Brian's already turned this coat of varnish into a snow surface as Don Dannenberg advises. Once you get a snow field, you know you've got an absolutely flat surface. Right now we're working on the 1957 Speedliner Class C hydroplane racer. We're using a, a rubber block to make sure that we don't turn the uh, surface into a moonscape. And Brian's sanding with 320 right now. Remember, was this the second or third coat? Third coat, Brian? Second coat. Second coat. of Interlux Perfection Plus. Two-part varnish. Yep, it's a two-part epoxy varnish. It's supposed to have incredibly good UV protection characteristics, but also be able to handle a great deal of hull flex. And when this little 13-foot uh, hydroplane is on the water with her 55 horsepower Merc hanging off the transom. Uh, she will flex. So you can see how quickly a nice shiny surface disappears into a into a blizzard, basically. Once Brian gets this down to the point where he's satisfied to wash it all off with uh, a solvent and we'll be ready for the next coat of varnish. Yeah, 216 is the solvent and her interlock recommends for wipe down. I mean, this drives home Dannenberg, the point that Dannenberg makes over and over and over again to the point of ad nauseum in his book, that a great finish is all about preparation. Even, even more so than application. If you can prepare it well and make it absolutely flat, then the final finish will look like it's a mile deep. Once we're finished, we'll build up what would you guess? 10 to 12 coats, Brian? Uh, actually, perfection only goes uh, 5 to 7. 5 to 7 with perfection. It's a much stronger, durable finish than a traditional varnish. Does it sand harder than your epiphanes? Very, very, very much. <laughs> As we build our final coats, you'll see there is a few spots here that are still low. So as we build up our final coat, those will fill in. So we'll be back to you uh, in a few days with uh, the, the next iteration of the uh, restoration of this little Speedliner race boat.